Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. We are here to expand our circuit production. Um, and what I'd like to do is get to the point where we're using five blue lines of copper and two of iron. Um, although now that I review the area, I see that we've only got four lines of copper coming in. So we could do four, one and a half, whatever. Anyway, I want to double, maybe quadruple this setup. But I do want to change the layout. Uh, I think I'd rather have this going horizontal rather than vertical. Um... Not sure I can explain why uh, exactly, but that's just how I would prefer to do it. So let's clear away some trees. Every good build begins with some deforestation. Okay, that should be enough. All right. And then I'm going to cut off our supply of raw materials so that these lines can drain themselves out. Uh, actually, let's... Is that going to use everything up? Now let's just give it a little bit more iron. Uh, not quite. Okay. Well, that's good enough, I think. Alright, and then we will blueprint this. Yeah, I'll go ahead and blueprint it with the belts, too. Like that. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and pick all that up. Player's inventory full, of course. Uh, let's put down a storage chest. Seriously, guys? So what am I supposed to do? That's it? I can't pick anything up or put anything down. That's frustrating when that happens. Okay. Um, and we'll do this. All right. Yeah, and here's an empty blueprint and there's no way to delete those until you create it first. Okay. So let's put our build back down and yeah, we'll rotate it like this and I'm gonna have to change the direction of the belts, I think. Let's give ourselves a little more room as well. Okay. Pull that up. All right, let's go grab our beacons here. There we go. Okay, now this is iron. So we're gonna turn, wait a minute, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to 
redo that whole output section. Uh, what can I get rid of here? I need some more inventory space. materials okay all right so this is the well part of this is the output belt for the circuits and part of it is the <clears throat> input for the iron okay and this is output for circuits as well Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh, let's see. So that's output for circuits. And then the iron is going on red belts. Let me start, let's start by getting uh, the rest of this put in. And then I'll figure out that iron belt. And I thought I had more of these. Let's see if I got some in the chests. There we go. All right. Actually, let's um, delete that. this whole thing again up to there and paste that down why is this not on top. Huh. I have the beacons wrong up here, or do I? No, that's okay. All right, I'm just going to do this manually. Something's not quite right, and I'm not sure what it is. Okay. Well, let's start by... Let's start by feeding in the copper. Um, now in this case, we're gonna split this belt in two because uh, these on the end are only serving two machines, whereas the rest of these are serving four. Okay, so this one is gonna continue on to the last set. ground belt there.
like that. here and then this one comes down to the end So that's our copper, that's four copper lines. And then we need to feed in, I'm not sure if we're gonna need one or two iron lines, but we'll start with one and see if that's gonna be enough. Okay, and that needs to come in No, it's got to feed in from the other side. And the reason for that is, or I could split it in two and just do red belts. Yeah, let's do that. I'll split it in two right here. And uh, I'll feed it in with red belts. off of the line for now. Until I can get this figured out. Okay, now our outputs. Are gonna be here. Is that right? No, one more. where our output goes on that side and then on the other side we've picked it all up I guess we'll do it the same way going to be our output. Let's see. Actually, I think what we can do is put this into a blue splitter. then have two red lines coming out because we're only filling one side of a blue belt on each side so that should give it enough enough to go on all right so let's finish our output And then 
I'll feed this belt of iron to the first two. So good. And then the second belt of iron I'll feed to the other two. Actually, let's uh, bring this splitter down here. Yeah. feed this in. I really need to, I need some room where I can do kind of like a, a loop. Maybe this is the place to do it. No, that's not going to work. be in between. But then where do I bring it up? Oh, I know what we can do. Yeah. No, it's got to be there. And then we just need power poles and inserters. Let's get a power pole out here right now so we can get started and make sure <coughs> at least the first part of it works. so far. Now one thing I was thinking about is 
we could probably move these beacons out another row. Because I, I don't need more I don't need more beacons on the circuit machine than I have on the copper wire machines. That's kind of a waste. And it really just increases the ener energy consumption too. So I'm wondering if if I move these beacons out one more, I could allow myself a whole belt, and then maybe I can get all the output out one side, because I could balance onto two sides of a belt if I had a little extra room. Um, I don't know if that would help me. Like if I came all onto one side of the belt into a splitter, I don't know if that would necessarily put it on both sides. Let's try it. Okay, that's not doing anything. Yeah. All right. So if I just go onto the far side of the belt, Does it always give me the far? Yeah, it always gives me the far side of the belt. Okay. Um, what if I did this? Let's see, far side of the belt, right side of the belt, far side of the belt, Right side of the belt. That would work. Yeah. I think we should do that. And that way I can just feed one... I can feed one blue belt of iron down that side. And we can feed our output down the other side. So let's try that. And then that'll be... A less confusing build and we should have the same we should have the same uh, output as long as we can keep up with the with the copper wire machines it will be good so let's do this yeah and then I can remove all of this jazz. That's making things very complicated. All right, and then we can have a side load there and a splitter there. And let's see if we get both sides of the belt. And we do. Okay, and now <clears throat> these are all being affected by the same number of sources, except for this guy at the end, because I need another beacon. Oh no. What? Yeah, no, this one's a little bit slower. Okay, so let's put the other beacons in. And I'm going to offset these from those to even out the effects. Because we have, we don't have a consistent um, number of spaces in between. Like here we have a space of three and then one and one, which is a space of two. So that's why the beacons are getting aligned with some of the machines, which reduces the bonus that they receive. So this row on top, I'll offset a little bit so that hopefully it'll 
even out in the long run. Okay. So that one's affected by eight sources, seven, eight, eight. And this one is also affected by eight. All right, and these are actually being slowed down on the output side. So let's put stack inserters on the output and see if we can make those green most of the time. And it looks like they are green most of the time. Okay, and then we can just make this a single blue belt. And get rid of all this underground shenanigans. that and we can pick that up all right so that's a splitter and that one is a regular one Okay, so now we just need to put in our inserters and power poles. I think that'll do it. All right, and then for power, and we can put one there and there. Yeah, this even works out better for power poles. And we'll put a light there, a light there. Uh, I guess we still need them to get all these beacons covered. All right, so let's see how this does. So far it's looking pretty good. We can clean this up somewhat. Yeah, that's looking good. They're all either green or yellow. Um, yellow I can deal with. That just means it's being blocked on the output side. Uh, this should actually be a blue splitter. There we go. Um, and actually I've changed my mind about these beacons. I do want them aligned with the ones on the other side. That way it'll be easy for me to, to tile them because the next row that we put up here will take advantage of the same set of beacons that's on this side. If I line them up. So let's do that. even though we'll lose a little bit of bonus here on the end. It will make more efficient use of our beacons. Okay, and just to check here, I just kinda wanna see how we're doing on copper supply. Like if I give it just a red belt, Is that 
by putting that red belt section, we essentially slow down the throughput here to a red belt. It looks like even that would be enough. Um, so that tells me we might even be able to run these copper belts through to the other side and still have enough. Yeah, because we need... We need 10 copper cables. I mean, we still need two iron plates to five copper plates, except we're getting productivity on the copper plates, but not on iron. So that's why, that's why four, that's why four copper lines and one iron line is enough. That's how we can keep that going. Okay, so that's eight sources, eight sources. Seven. Yeah, this one's only got seven because of the alignment of the modules, or of the beacons, rather. Um, which is unfortunate, but it's not a very big deal. I don't know if there's really any way to fix that. I guess we could we could add an extra space in here somewhere. But, yeah. We do have more copper to play with here. I just don't know how much is enough. I don't know if it's enough that I could jump the copper over to the other side and make another line with it. Well, let's let's just try something. Let's see let's see what happens if we limit all these to red belt throughput. So we're basically running on two thirds the copper, and it doesn't look like we're running out anytime soon. It looks fine. What if we make it yellow? Okay, there's one starting to turn red. All right, let's keep going with that research. Yeah, so a half or a third of the throughput is too much, but two thirds still appears to be enough. So that means that we could we could probably feed another row of these babies. Or another way we could look at it is if we make this red. We got one red belt. Yeah, so we can easily saturate one red belt. So I don't think we could run. I don't think we could run a whole other unit with these same copper lines. So probably what we could do is make this uh, an eight belt output on copper. And, and run another set of lines with it from the same station. I think that's, I think that's what I'll do. Um, instead of, we'll just set this up so I've got four lines from this side and four lines from that side. If I can fit it, I don't, th actually now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I left myself enough room to do that. I might have to, uh, I might have to move this station.
because I only have room for three belts here. Not four. Unless I do some tricky underground stuff, belt weaving. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to, I think I'm just gonna have to move things to give myself more room here. Eh, that was dumb. I wanted to pack it in tight. And I nearly always regret when I do that. I can't move this down, I'd have to move everything else up. Or I could just have one, two, three, and then, yeah, that wouldn't really be ideal. Oh, maybe I could do this. One, two, three, and then four. <clears throat> Let me play with this for a minute. If I could get this belt, like this group, if I could just have it come out on one belt, then I could squeeze it all in. Um, but then it wouldn't be it wouldn't be on both sides. I would only have one side. I'd have to put a I'd have to put like a splitter or balancer after. Which wouldn't help with throughput any. So this one would have less throughput than the other ones. But that might not be a problem anyway, because we can unload more than fast enough for these stack inserters to keep the belt full. I think it'll be better if I just move it. I'll have to move move these up, move that one up. Um, yeah, I mean this this arrangement is less than ideal, the way that this is loading right now. Okay, well, we'll uh, we'll do that another time. I don't think that's urgent that we take care of that right now. So let's go, let's go back to our base. You know what? Hang on, hang on. Go back, if you can. I don't know where the nearest U-turn is. We'll figure it out. <clears throat> I need to set up some turrets over there. I forgot to do that. I don't want all that to get attacked now that we figured out how to make it. Add that to our blueprint book. There's my U-turn. Now another thing I'd like to do fairly soon, and um, I think I've kind of touched on this before, is uh, I'd like to <clears throat> I'd like to start doing all of my smelting over here. So now that we've um, figured these lines out, and I think we may even be able to do, we might even be able to make more efficient use of beacons over here. I know you could like if you put beacons on two sides of the same furnace, you can do a whole blue belt with like seven furnaces. Um, which is probably what we want to do ultimately.
because I mean that'll require more speed modules. It'll probably require close to the same number of modules altogether, but it'll be more speed modules and fewer productivity modules. And we'll use fewer furnaces and maybe use less energy overall as well. I'm not sure how the energy works out in that scenario, but um, that's something that we can we can look at doing later on. But anyway, I'd like to expand this so that we can just start doing all the smelting over here and uh, not do any of the smelting at the main base. And then we take the smelters out of the main base and we use those areas to put in train unloading stations. All right, so I'm just gonna lay down some turrets in a somewhat regular pattern, actually. Let's uh, let's make it more regular than that. I'll just put down poles first and then we'll put them to coincide with the poles. Okay, and that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.